Light lefty. <laughs> Mrs. Man. Genus, homo. Species, sapien. Most often, a complicated breed. In this case, quite simple. Men can be prone to sudden outbursts. An occasional dancing. The development of man is marked by many environmental influences, but one must not overlook the importance of the genetic threat. <laughs> Yes, much of who man is passes from father to son, like broad shoulders, good hair, dirty jokes. But the most amazing trait shared by men universally is the ability to glue their eyes to a sports event on television. Observe. Eyes. Television. Glue. <laughs> now this presents an enormous challenge to the female of the species. She must be resourceful, persistent, and somehow more interesting than football. And civilization, as we know it, continues. Don't know about the future, that's anybody's guess. Ain't no good reason for getting all depressed. Buy up your pad and pencil, I give you a piece of my mind. In my opinion, nation, the sun is gonna show this shine. Stop all your fussing. Slap on a smile, come out and walk in the sun for a while. Don't fight your feeling, you know you want to have a good time. And in my opinion, nation, the sun is going to surely shine. In my soul, you are a Madonna on a pedestal, exalted secure and immaculate but i need you to survive go for it emma <laughs> i need your eyes your voice your thoughts be my friend my sister my angel oh no he's not going for that old friend sister angel ploy <laughs> she threw back her head her white throat swelled in a sigh and without resisting tears streaming with a long shudder and her face hidden she gave herself to him Romance can be very confusing, but in the most wonderful way. Sometimes I feel like an anthropologist studying a mysterious lost breed with bizarre mating rituals. Actually, I'd like to put some of this vast knowledge to use, tonight even. Hi, what are you doing? Oh, I've got Angie on the other line. Want a conference? Sure. You still there? Yeah. Hey, Blossom. Hi, what's up? Anybody up for a party? Why not? Sure. Anybody having a party? My sister Beth's having a party. She paid me ten bucks to sleep at Lisa's. <laughs> we could crash Beth's party. Yeah, but what about the ten bucks? She said I had to sleep at Lisa's. I'm gonna sleep at Lisa's. <laughs> Who wants to hang out with a bunch of yuppies? I might. How bizarre. Well, aren't you at least a little curious about what people with actual lives do at a party? Um, okay, but if anybody starts talking about careers or rent or health insurance, I'm out of there. Okay, well, unless I call you back, I'll pick you up in about an hour. Okay. All right, bye. 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 What to wear when trying to fit in with the local natives? The ceremonial black velvet mini dress, of course. <laughs> you don't touch, kids. Just look. He's laughing. That's because he thinks we're fools for watching him sleep. <laughs> but I like watching him. How come? He's boring. He just does the same thing, hour after hour. It's only been ten minutes. The longest ten minutes of my life. Hi, Shelley. The baby's fine. <laughs> well, since you last called, he laughed a little and raised an eyebrow. The left one. Um, look, I know separation can be difficult, but just try to enjoy yourselves. This will give you and Tony a chance to... Um, you know. That shall be fine. Promise. Bye. Now things are getting interesting. Shelley asked that we wear these. She's very concerned about germs. There's a gown that goes with it, booties and gloves, but... 
I drew the line at the mask. Smoking. <laughs> He's laughing again. Can you blame him? <laughs> Dad, can I borrow the car? Are you uh, going to do your homework someplace? I'm going to Angie's. Hopefully I'll learn something. Thanks. Subterfuge. It carries its own excitement. I didn't exactly lie to them, but I certainly hid the truth. And why? My dad's not even that strict. I don't know that he would care if I went to an adult party. I guess I did it for the thrill, the danger. Teenagers, I'm one of them, and yet I don't understand them. Killer Red. Okay, I guess this makes me lethal. Come on in, Haley. Joey, wait. Yeah? I get so shy around your parents. Oh, you know what? I used to be shy around them, too, but uh, <laughs> once I got to know them, they became just like family. It's just that I never know what to say. Oh, well, uh, I always like to start off with hi, but, you know, that's just me. I mean, uh, you might want to start off with hello. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> Either way, my parents are very ordinary, very down-to-earth, normal people. <laughs> Yo, everybody. Uh, I am sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for all this. <laughs> Dad, what is it? Imagine, if you will, an innocent young couple come into the young man's house to what? Borrow the car, some cash. Your new tie. That I haven't even worn yet. They cross the threshold and enter the Twilight Zone. So, can I have the tie or not? Yes, but have it back by midnight. This is going to be so dumb. I don't think so. There's a certain atmosphere around us. Something primal, powerful, sultry, smog. <laughs> no, I'm talking about something, something soulful, musky, thick. Keep talking like this and I'm looking at an allergy attack. <laughs> Six, um, I want to ask you a favor and I'm hoping you'll take it the right way. Blossom, are we friends? Best friends. Closest sisters? Closer. I'll do anything. I want to pretend I don't know you. <laughs> okay, you mean like, like joke around on those goobers in there? <laughs> yeah, except I'd like to keep it going all night. Oh, and never let on. Yeah. Like you really don't know me. Yeah. And this would be to... to hopefully meet and connect with some of the goobers in there. Boring old guys. Sophisticated adults. Well, you certainly look like one of them. Actually, two. Look, I gotta tell you, I think the smog is affecting your brain. Oh, look, it's Lisa, my friend, who actually knows me. I'll see you later. I feel like Margaret Mead entering the sacred cave of some exotic lost tribe. Perfect. I even get to have background music. Hold him again in the morning, right here. Yippee! <laughs> Up to bed and we'll tuck you in. Can I sleep in my bed? I'm afraid not, sweetie. This is the worst day of my life. Oh. <laughs> you want to hold him, Grandpa? I like watching you hold him. You're afraid to hold him. 
I am not. I would imagine you've held lots of newborns. Uh, well, at least three. I actually like to wait until they're old enough to land on their feet. I dropped one of them once. Uh, Joey? Right on the head. <laughs> he is awfully cute. No, come on, sit down. A true professional baby holder. I've forgotten how good this feels. There's nothing like it in the world. No, there isn't. You know, I think there's nothing sexier in the world than a man holding a baby. Really? <laughs> yes, really. I'm finding myself very attracted to you, Grandpa. Hmm. Oh, there are some words I never thought I'd hear myself say. <laughs> well, lucky for you, Grandma, I think he's going to sleep. It's your chance to have your way with me. Oh, goody. Hey, did everybody forget about me? I don't have a card. They're at the printers, reprinting. Spelling error. Waffle. Of course, I could take your cards. Would you just leave those on the table for me? You know, I, I've been waiting for my chance all night. I think this is it. I'm David. Blossom. Let me guess, your parents are flower children. You know my parents? <laughs> no, no, but they must be wonderful people. And beautiful. Well. Yeah. And your parents? My parents.